Hello and welcome to my F1 23 Lamborghini My Team Career Mode Here today for round 2 of season 4 And the first time we're in Miami since 2022 Where we have put it on pole position alongside Max Verstappen And then it's the two Alpines headed by Espan Ocon George Russell and our teammate Oscar Piastri Lando and Carlos Sainz Hamilton and Bottas round out the top 10 Then it's Sonoda and Leclerc Joe and Liam Lawson Fittipaldi and Teo Pacea Stroll and Kevin Kevin Magnussen, Sargent and Albon and on the final road grid is Nick De Vries and Dennis Hauger. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the Grand Prix, we have put it on pole position once again looking to make it back to back wins this season after our win last time out in Australia. This is our pole position lap then. It was very very strong lap, we found half a second on that last lap. But the conditions you can see here, we're doing soft to mediums, but there is a high chance of rain towards the end of the Grand Prix. So how far can these soft tyres go and how quickly will the rain come? We're racing here in Miami. We've got a good start, but so has Max Verstappen from P2. Verstappen's going to send it into the first corner. We hold around the outside. We keep a dash behind. We have a big turn circle. Have to call the side. So does Max Verstappen as we go through the first sector. Gasly all over the back of the red ball now as we snake through the first sector now into that long, long left hander. Max has it go on the inside. The hander rage comes up. Verstappen gets us down up the inside and now it's a traction race and a drag race down to the next corner. They're all over the back of Max Verstappen as he tries to break the toe. They're trying to stay in the toe as now we get towards the corner. We're going to look the stamp and send it to the inside of Max Verstappen. We leave him the space on the outside. We've now got the outside line round in the fake marina. Now down into that very tight chicane we have to back out and Max has got the job done on us there. Yellow flags in the background. They were green again as we head down the long back straight towards the final corner. And Max has pulled out quite a quite a lead there through that chicane. But we're just waiting, waiting. And we're gonna lift the stamp and send it once again down the inside of Max Verstappen. We go straight on. Verstappen does the cutback and now once again it's a drive race up to the line and we've got the job done. Oh Max Verstappen, Verstappen now going to our inside once again into turn one. Verstappen gets the job done. The Alpine and Gasly has a look to our inside. The roll over the back. Verstappen retakes the lead of the Grand Prix. Whilst we're battling one Red Bull, the other Red Bull of Matt of Valdry Bottas. He's slowing down and pulling over and out of the Miami Grand Prix. It's all over for Bottas in his Red Bull as we are battling now Max Verstappen still. He's pulled out a small gap as we go on to lap 3 now of the Grand Prix. We're getting closer but we're not quite close enough but we're going to go for it. Anyway down the inside of Max Verstappen and retake the lead of the Miami Grand Prix through the yes section now. This is a great camera angle. We run wide. Verstappen's back on our outside. We force him the long way round. Gasly now in his Alpine. He's having a look up the inside nearly. But now he might be done by his teammates in the background. This time there is DRS. We've got a gap over Max Verstappen. The two Alpines going wheel to wheel in the background. And so is our teammate Oscar Piastri, Max trying to look to our outside as we keep him behind but now Max Verstappen lap 5, look at the nice little train behind us, Max got to the inside of us, now into the fake, fake marina section, Max retakes the lead of the Grand Prix, we're going to try and hold it to the outside though. And we couldn't do that, and Max is once again ahead of us. But we do cut the chicane a little bit there. But we do now hoping to stay in touch and distance of the Red Bull. As we head down the back street once again, this is lap 5 of the Grand Prix. We've got an excellent toe with the OT burn, DRS as well. And we retake the lead 
off the Miami Grand Prix where we've gone deep in the final corner. Now Max has a look up the inside, can't get the exit. We stay ahead of the Red Bull. Max not going to the inside again. Into turn one. We try and hold it around the outside once again. Now we have a bit more traction on the outside. We squeeze him out and he has to back out to avoid contact. And this has been an incredible battle as we run wide once again at a long left hander and hand the lead back to Max Verstappen, the two Alpines waiting in the wings. We go back to the outside of Max Verstappen now heading down into the end of the other straight. Max has to back out of it and now he's left vulnerable to the Alpine of Gasly. He's gone down the inside of him round that thick marina. Got him round the outside into the chicane. What a move by the Frenchman. We've gone a bit deep again. This isn't one of my favourite tracks Miami and it's really showing him all over the place in his opening couple of laps. And now Gaz is getting closer, closer and closer to the outside of us. So there he goes. He is through. Just about head into the final corner. We squeeze him wide, show him the door. And he has to back out. And he stays behind us. This is the battle that we were kind of robbed last time out in Australia when his engine popped on the second lap of the Grand Prix. We run wide though. Gasly's back up into the lead and now we're battling Max Verstappen. We really squeeze Verstappen there. We stayed ahead of him and now we want our lead back. We're looking to make him back to back wins this season. In the opening two races we're going to send a lead back down the inside of the Alpine. Get the job done. Verstappen now is having a look at him but Verstappen's too far back because he's too busy defending the other Alpine as Ocon does Max Verstappen round the outside. We've gone deep again. That's allowed Gasly to get a great exit, gets alongside us and now it's a drag race down towards the final corner. We've got the Aristo somehow at that point. As now Gasly gets done by his teammate as well. They're side by side into the final corner. This has given us some time to breathe for once. As Gasly's got his nose ahead of his teammate, he goes back the other way. Ocon now ahead as we go into the first corner. Who is going to stay ahead of in the battle? It looks like Gasly has. Gasly is ahead. Gasly's had a big tank flap there, to be fair there. So lap 9 now and you can see how much darker it is getting as we run wide yet again around that long left hander and Gasly is through but now it's a drag race as the track gets colder and colder we stay ahead of the Alpine the Red Bull and Max Verstappen have dropped back miles here and Alpine who were strongest in testing they were very unlucky last time out in Australia. They're really showing their true pace here as they're both side by side round the faint marina. As now Ocon gets past his teammate. Is that a bit tactical from Alpine? Because Gasly can't get past us. Are they telling Ocon to have a go? It's now side by side. We go where Ocon does take the lead in the Grand Prix. We're going to hold it to the outside though, but we've gone deep, we've gone really, really deep. Ocon now takes the lead of the Grand Prix as the rain begins to fall here in Miami. The Sunside State, as I believe it's called, isn't very sunny in this Grand Prix. We go to the outside of Ocon. Ocon keeps us behind. As now we go through the final couple of corners. As now down towards turn one, we're going to send it to the inside of Ocon. He cuts his back at the first corner, retakes the lead of the Grand Prix. We're going to try and hold it to the outside. You can see the rain there. And we stay ahead of Ocon. But now our soft tyres are absolutely dead. We're skating right now on this track with these tyres. They're red, they're in the 50-60% where we are on ice 
at this current moment in time and the rain really isn't helping that. It's now to the inside. Guys, walk on once again in the background. And there is the McLaren of Lando Norris to the outside. We really overtake Esteban Ocon. Job done there is a great move. It's now lap 12 and this rain was really odd. It was a bit like it was in Mexico where it was raining. But it wasn't enough to be inters. It's now to the inside. Ocon really overtakes us there for the lead. It's now we're all over the back. Of Ocon going down into the first corner. We're going to swap in the dummy. Go to the outside. Those in the background are pitting. But they're not pitting for inters. As we're side by side with Ocon through the S section. We stay ahead of Ocon now as we head down through the S section. This was further back. These are boxing for inters. With the rain coming down. These are boxing for more dry tyres as this is large stroll coming into the pits now it's down the pit lane they all go they're all boxing these are the soft runners boxing for medium with the rain coming down this may or may not be a big mistake if it's just light rain and it's not going to get wetter then we're going to have to pit but that's not the case. Lap 14, I think it's time for the intermediate tyres. Nearly. Mark says no. You can see how bad our tyres are. But we are not far away from needing the inters. You can see how bad the tyres are now. Lap 15. It's now the two Alpines going well to real. Gasly really takes Ocon. So maybe that's more team orders. Ocon had, it, had his go but trying to get past us. Now that's way back to Gasly in this race to re take us now. There's now lap 16. The track ever getting wetter and our tyres ever getting warmer. And warmer we go deep into the first corner. We shrug off. Gasly, Gasly nearly goes into the side of his teammate there as he tries to stay on the track. And now lap 16. We're now being double teamed by the two Alpines as we head down through the DRS and you can see the rain on the track now. It's very, very wet. There's no, there's a nice little truddy train behind us into the end of the back straight. Now we're side by side with the Alpine of Fort Gasly as he tries to go to our outside we keep them behind just Leclerc now he's all over the back he's got one Alpine and now the Alpine of Gasly has overtaken us into the final corner though we do get the job done on Gasly and now Leclerc finds a way through on us as now on this lap it's definitely time for the inters now you can see the track and how wet it is now from the last couple of laps but Leclerc really overtakes us there Leclerc takes the lead after coming from absolutely nowhere so far in these laps in this Grand Prix we go back to the inside we retake the lead of the Grand Prix now the Alpine of Casley trying to get around the outside of Charles Leclerc but he has to back out of it going into that tight chicane now I do think it's time for the intermediate condition tyres the track is soaking it is an ice rink out there as now Leclerc is getting closer and closer to the back of us we just need to get the car slowed down into the final couple of corners now try and find any sort of grip and we do as we box now i think it's time for the intermediate tires it's through the little where you can and that is the pit bit here now everyone stays out so this is it either a very good call or a very bad call? But to me, it was the right decision. As we go on to the end now, and we'll see how much time we can gain on this lap. 
relative to those who have been holding up basically this entire race so far as one lap later into the pits comes basically everyone we were holding up both our pins our pins are gonna get out hold each other up as we go into the pit lane so is the ferrari of leclerc you can see how long ago i recorded this race because the ferrari's got the las vegas livery on and gasly's gonna hold up his teammate there in the stops as they're all going on to intermediate tires as we head into the first corner we've got a lot of time through the first corner we go there's Gasly nearly sideways out of the pit lane there and we've gained quite a lot of time but we've also caught those in front that have stayed out once again on dry tyres as they're all over the back of Logan Sargent in his Williams we go to the inside but past the Williams is now into the end of that long DRS straight we've gone very very deep as we nearly hit the back of Dennis Hauger in his Alpha Tauri. I'm really not sure what these cars are doing. It's a bit like what some of those were doing back in um, Spa last season where they were driving around on wet tyres when the track was bone dry or near enough bone dry. As now we're getting closer and closer to the back of of Magnussen, we've got past Helga and now to the inside are we going to send it on Kevin Magnussen, we are and we're also going to send it on Alex Albon and we've got two there into one corner but what are these doing they stay out once again to some of them, most of them have got their hint in the box but some have still stayed out as now in front of us is Fitter Peraldi we dispatch our former teammate fairly quickly there they're struggling so much on these tyres but Fitz apparently still fighting us but we keep him behind now though Gasly had caught us up on his intermediate tyres gets us to the outside as we retook the lead after those boxes as now we hold it to the inside Gasly swaps us the dummy we slam the door firmly shut to the face of P Gasly as we go now through that S section now onto the back straight Gasly gets the better exit Gasly's in front of us just I think with that we've got the better exit we've overtaken Gasly as now we continue to battle we've gone deep though we've gone deep into that corner and now Gasly is side by side Gasly's hit the side of us there going into that corner I think Gasly has front wing damage now but we stay ahead of Gasly that is the most important part Ocon now after his bad pit stop has allowed us allowed him to catch back up because we've been battling Gasly so hard because of Ocon being held up by Gasly in the pit lane but Gasly's boxing Gasly from P2 is boxing you can see the damage on his front end plate there it's gone as also P um, Alex Albon's engine has gone that Mercedes engine has gone as he slows down to retire from the Miami Grand Prix we're on the final lap now of the Grand Prix we managed to keep Ocon at a jabbing distance as we head down the back straight for the final time you can see how bad the conditions of the track is now as we go into the final real corner on the track we are going to make it back to back wins in 2026 we win in Miami Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friend. Well done. A nearly flawless performance here then, and a commanding victory. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? It's a heroic effort for any driver to race in conditions like these, and seeing them fight their way to the front was very special indeed. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and had the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. That's what pushed them into first place here today. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today.
so that's been your Miami Grand Prix. Very, very, very bruised elbows after that race. But we got the job done in the end. Ocon at P2. Leclerc picks up Ferrari's first podium of the season. Piastri finishing P5 for us. Liam Lawson finishes P7 in his Alpha Tauri, which means that, that is the very first time in this entire career mode, all 50 parts of this career mode, that they have actually got a point. At the back of the grid, it was Simon from Bottas and Albon. Albon still classified. Gasly, once again, disappointing for him. There wasn't really anything we could do about that. It was a racing incident. He had to come back onto the track. Yes, you could say we can went back onto the track dangerously, but it was either that or hit the wall. So there wasn't really a lot else we could do in that situation. In terms of the driver championship then, we lead now by 27 points over Esteban Ocon in P2. And then it's a Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. George Russell are is fourth Lewis Hamilton down there Oscar Piastri P10 scoring 11 points so far this season Gasly at the bottom not scoring a single point in terms of the constructors then and now we retake the lead off Mercedes in the constructors world championships they've also been jumped by Ferrari but the main talking point is Alfa Tauri finally getting some points this career mode let alone season i hope you enjoyed this video next time out we head back to europe as we go head to imola for the first time since 2022 i'll see you then goodbye